okay so this is another ECG question that I got um, it says that this is the ECG tracing of lead 2 and they want to know from where did the B wave come now um, we could think that the B wave could um, is it like abnormal yes it is see you can see pqrsd pqrsd and over here there's no p there's a there's no q deflection either and then it goes rsd and it goes on so now let us see what options we have and why they are incorrect could this bead be originated from the sinoatrial node no, because it would cause a depolarization of the atria first, right? So it's not the sinoatrial node. Nor is it from the atrium because we don't have anything before the ventricular contractions. Now there's another thing I read and it says that the small Q deep depolarization is because of septal depolarization from left to right. And um, if your septums are not being depolarized then it's probably the ventricles which initiated this abnormal beat now we have to figure out which ventricle did it was it the right ventricle or the left ventricle and this kind of goes back into Ethwin's triangle which says that if our electrical beat is going towards a positive node then you have an upward deflection now we have an upward deflection here so it must be traveling from and we have we know that it's lead 2 that we're talking about so it must be from lead 2 to positive causing an upward deflection so it's going from right to left so it's probably the right ventricle who caused this because if it was the left ventricle uh, left ventricle who initiated the node uh, sorry the beat that would have caused a negative deflection and um, that's all let me know if there are any corrections because I'm a medical student and I don't understand a lot of things myself and I could have missed out a lot of points so yeah that's all